Hi, this is Eric Allen with My Aileron, and I'm talking to Gary Hines and Mike George, co-owners of Northwoods Consulting Partners Incorporated. Hi, guys. Hi, Eric. How are you? Great. Uh, the reason I wanted to touch base with you is you were recently featured in an article on the Columbia Business First, and the, the writer told uh, your story and highlighted the fact that uh, as, leader, as leaders of the company, your ability to change uh, and adapt to the market you found yourself in was a contributor to your success, and Aileron was able uh, to assist you in, in that path. But we wanted to check in now that the recession is affecting most businesses, and know, and we would like to know if that's changed your your goals as leaders. If anything has changed uh, because of the recession in regards um, to leadership and your ability to change. You know, the, the recession has is, uh, certainly hit us, and, and at, at one time we, I, uh, we were under the false impression that we might have been recession-proof because our, our, gust, our customers were all uh, governmental agencies. Um, what we found, though, is that, is that their budgets probably got hit um, even quicker than, than those in, in private business, and, uh, and so they've been hit, they've been hit hard, and it's, in terms of our short-term goals, it's had a, had a major impact. I think our, our long-term goals remain the same. Uh, we still anticipate being in the same business as we were. Um, we, we still anticipate you know, similar growth over time uh, to where we were prior to the recession. But in the, in the short term, um, we find ourselves you know, trying to um, find, uh, I guess, find money or revenue wherever we can find it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we find ourselves... Uh, probably working harder to make less these days and, uh, and and just trying to do what we can to, to to get by until the money starts coming back around again so well has has working with aileron giving you given you anything that has helped you in this new unexpected market condition you know i think uh working with the consultants at aileron has helped us to stay focused on on our um you know our long long-term objectives I think one of the biggest mistakes that you can make, um, given the, the current um, circumstances, is to react too quickly to what you find uh, and to overreact either by cutting expenses too much, um, cutting investment too much. Um, you know, we we could look at expanding our, our market and going elsewhere and being less uh, um, less focused. But I think Aileron has helped us um, to to keep that that long term perspective on things. And what is the next market change you you guys are preparing for? You want to talk about? Yeah, um, you know the, uh, the the population of people who are needing assistance. Those are those are the agencies that we serve. We serve the the county agencies who help um, the uh, the working poor and uh, you know folks who are in need of assistance. And, and the number of people who need that kind of help is growing. And the number of people who are available to serve that population is shrinking because of the reduction in uh, program administration dollars. And so we find uh, county and our state customers uh, shifting their business models into one that um, requires them to work more efficiently and empowers the client to actually do some of the work themselves, um, you know, such as uh, capturing their own documents, um, or, uh, you know, the agencies may implement technology to automatically answer uh, questions that clients may have through, a, through, a, through an IVR system or an advanced uh, phone system. Okay. So, so we're having to react to this need for counties and states to become ultra-efficient in delivery of services because they just don't have, the, they just don't have the, um, the resources that they had at one time to deliver those services to the people who need them. I see. So we 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 uh, we innovate. We create new solutions to enable them to do this kind of stuff, uh, and and try to try to find ways to you know make our solutions even more beneficial than than they already are to to make them able to do more with less. You know, I think to follow up on that, Eric, from the the marketing perspective, is is to say that. You know, sometimes you can find opportunity in times like this, and, and this is one where um, we believe there's opportunity. We're just we're just now, you know, in the process of building our response to to the market in this way. But but here's here's a situation where uh, because of the downturn, uh, our customers are having to do business differently, and if we can respond quickly enough, 
um, and make the proper investments, we can we can be the first to market with, with something that can help them um, meet their needs in, in the short term, and then also get us you know uh, more long term business out of those same customers. I see. And also, is there a technology shift that you guys are anticipating in the next five or six years that that could change the market for you? Um. You know, the technology shift for us is one um, that, that takes the technology outside of the government agency. Right now, our solution um, is mainly operating inside the, the walls of, of government buildings. Okay. And as uh, government employees begin working from home uh, to save costs on office space, as they begin to empower clients to serve themselves, um, we need to make our technology available, you know, generally available in places where it wasn't available before, uh, so workers can work from home as if they were in the office, um, so clients can apply for assistance uh, in places other than at a um, Department of Job and Family Services, so the clients can go in over the internet and schedule a meeting or request a change to their case. So, you know, for us, it's uh, it's it's expanding the technology out into the out into the community more than we have in the past. Great. Uh, well, thank you both for taking time out today to uh, revisit this topic, and you guys have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Thanks, Eric.